All right, last night um, I attached the uh, bottom cover. There's a cover that goes under the bottom here so that the electronics are all in this area between this piece of plastic and a piece of plastic that covers the bottom. And I installed the um, Nighthawk SB toolhead uh, config file. Um, I didn't just alter the config printer config file. I saw in a video where you can do that, or you can just do the what the instructions for the um, Nighthawk SB, which tells you just to move the Nighthawk SB file to the printer and then add an include statement at the bottom of your printer config that calls the uh, Nighthawk config. So that's what I did, although I did have to go in there and change two things. I changed the y-axis. This y-axis goes through this cable chain and is still connected to the octopus board. So I commented out the um, Nighthawk config files uh, Y and stop pin. The Z pin is on the tool head and goes through the Nighthawk SB. So that one I left alone. And then the other thing I had to do, um, if you can see with the light on, I don't know if you'll be able to, if I go way back here, there. Right in this area here, there's a blue light that turns red. Um, that is from the tap. Chaotic Labs tap modification where it knows where the bed is by actually touching the bed. So that was reversed, so I had to go into the Nighthawk config file and add an exclamation point before the name of the pin. And that's fixed that, so I will now try. Hopefully it will work my first quad gantry level with the Nighthawk SB. Uh, home. Okay. Uh, wants to home X and Y first. Fine. Okay, and then it will home Y here. Okay, home Z. The fans are kind of loud. Uh, they're Cooling the electronics. There's two fans. All right, X, Y, Z. So now, hopefully, quad gantry level will work. So I had done this with the cables that uh, come with the stock gantry. This is the first time with the carbon fiber gantry and Nighthawk. Truly exciting and riveting video, I'm sure. Mm 
I believe it does it until it gets um, within the proper range that it's looking for, the acceptable parameters as far as how far the corners are off from each other, if I remember right. So again, it's been almost, if not a year, since I've done a quad gantry level. Um, and I still haven't printed anything, but I have fed some filament through to roughly calibrate the extruder. Okay, well... So, was it successful? Uh, uh, retries, 2 slash 5, range point zero zero five zero zero zero. Tolerance is 0, 0, 7, 5, 0, 0. So it looks like, uh, I believe that means it's set to fail if it doesn't achieve a good enough quad gantry level after five tries so it did two tries I'm guessing and it got within tolerance so yeah you can see the adjustments as it moves the Z it's got four motors for the Z axis so it's just slightly adjusting them all trying to get it into the best position it can. So there we go. I am up and running with quad gantry level successful and Nighthawk SB installed. So I'm pretty happy. I made some progress.